Good afternoon, everyone. It is Tuesday, July 13th, and this is going to be an introduction podcast. There's just not enough time right now to get through it and not enough time to even prepare 100% for it. But what I do want to say is look, taking a look at the weather map today, we have two domes of heat, actually, two domes of heat. One of them is Baltimore and Washington, D.C., area of a Bermuda high pressure is influencing itself over in the mid-Atlantic area. Peak intensity is taking place over Baltimore, Maryland today, and Washington, D.C. as high temperatures soar into the mid-90s, perhaps even upper 90s in some areas in the mid-Atlantic area. We will have to take a look at that a little bit later today, but dew points are in the low 70s, and heat indexes are solidly over 100 degrees. That's in the mid-Atlantic area. It's going to stay like that. The next several days, temperatures will likely be in the 90s. That Bermuda high pressure system, it's a dome of heat, but it's affecting a very small part of this country. It's affecting Baltimore and Washington, D.C., and it's going to stay like that for quite a while, but it is affecting a small part of this country. If you go further to the north of Baltimore, especially when you hit New York, temperatures drop rapidly. Temperatures only in the low 70s. The dew points do not drop rapidly. There's a slight drop in humidity, but it's the temperatures that drop a lot. And if you go south of the mid-Atlantic area, especially when you head south of North Carolina, temperatures drop for afternoon highs only in the 80s. The next dome of heat is taking place over in the desert southwest. That's a large one. Temperatures are in the hundreds for most of Oregon. That goes all the way up. Even places in Washington, Idaho, places are in the hundreds. We have temperatures in the 90s over in Canada, and places are in the hundred and teens over much of Arizona. We're also seeing an increase in humidity. Unbelievable. The national we- unbelievably, the National Weather Service in Phoenix, Arizona has issued a flash flood watch in effect for Phoenix, Arizona. That's in effect until 11 a.m., I think, for tomorrow. I think. It's 11 a.m. for tomorrow. Anyways, uh, we're going to see a continuation of hot weather there. The excessive heat warnings are no longer in effect, but we do have an excessive heat warning, which remains in effect until 8 p.m. in Death Valley, California. What is remarkable, I find, is that the dew points in Death Valley are also starting to go up. The dew points are not approaching 60, but the dew points are headed into the 50s, which is ideal humidity, which would mean that the air temperatures are probably actually feeling what it actually says it's going to be. The heat indexes are probably similar to what those air temperatures are, and uh, that's what the story is for there, whereas usually dew points are in the 30s and the heat index temperatures might actually feel cooler than what the air temperatures are. Other remarkable things that have taken place over the past 24 hours is that in Lytton, Canada, that city that hit 121 degrees uh, a couple weeks ago, yesterday it was at least 115 degrees. I just happened to randomly checked the thermometer yesterday afternoon in Lytton, Canada, and it was 115 degrees. Hottest temperature ever in Canada up until this year was 113 degrees. So this is definitely remarkable heat. It showed the forecast high was only 94 degrees, and I don't know what that's all about. That I can't, Were they really that far off? 21 degrees off. There was a heat advisory in effect, excessive heat warning, so they did get that part right, and I don't know why it showed the forecast high on AccuWeather of 94 degrees while the temperature was 115 degrees at that time. Uh, mosquito activity is extremely high in Baltimore, Maryland, extremely high in Miami, and extremely high in St. Louis, Missouri. Mosquito activity is low in Yuma, Arizona, but it's very high in Phoenix, Arizona, and what is that noise? Wow. I don't know what that noise is. But anyways, uh, it's low in, it's very high in uh, Boise, Idaho as well. And many places out west, you have a lot of heat, which is attracting a lot of those mosquitoes. Uh, taking a look in Eretz Yisrael, we have the mosquitoes are low in Eretz Yisrael, but the temperatures, there were a yellow warning for heat. It was in effect yesterday for places uh, by the Dead Sea. And there also is a fire weather watch, in effect, for places in, in the desert over there in Eretz Yisrael. Uh, anyways, this is just a little bit of an introduction, and I wanted to make sure that we covered those, uh, the fire weather watch, the heat advisories in Eretz Yisrael, as well, along with the intense heat in the, in the southwest part of Canada once again. 
uh, along with the there's a cool area, an area of cool air. I didn't mention this. An area of cool air is currently over in Indiana and uh, Michigan and Ohio. And there's also an area of cool air over in the central part of Canada. So we have two domes of heat and two areas of cool air. A frontal boundary, which is a low pressure system which has dissipated over the past 24 hours, is only a trough of low pressure as it heads into the Michigan area. Uh, and therefore the sun's starting to come out here in Chicago and then tomorrow for sure mostly sunny skies warm and more humid tomorrow temperatures well into the 80s for both Chicago and South Bend Indiana and many other cities and actually temperatures might even come close to 90 in some of those cities warm and humid conditions remain Wednesday night through Friday night heavy rainstorm here in the Midwest three inches of rain is forecast for Wisconsin one to three inches for Chicago Illinois and places to the south and east and west might only be getting one to two inches or perhaps even less. That's going to be from the period Wednesday night through Friday night. More details will follow if we do indeed have a podcast later on in the day. The rain chances are generally this is a Thursday and perhaps I guess a Friday rainstorm as we see a front eventually settling south of us bringing in cooler and drier air by Shabbos. I wish everybody a great day. We're going to have again, if there is a podcast later, there will be more details in regards to all of this.